Hi everybody, it's Jen. Um, I am going to be showing you guys my update for my finish 13 by Halloween. Um, I started this on July the 15th and although it is not August 15th yet, I believe it's the 12th today. Um, I just wanted to do my update now and get all of this stuff uploaded, I guess by the 15th hopefully. Um, I'm going to be really busy in the next two weeks, like really, really busy. And I really don't know that I'm going to have time to do an upload in the next two weeks. So I thought I'll just film everything now and then just continue on. So without further ado, let's get started. I have the Lanza Healing Color Care. This is like a hair color care trauma treatment. Um, it has like three or four different names on it. So I'm just going to call it the Lanza Healing Color Care Treatment trauma treatment I guess um, so this is where I had started on July the 15th so that much right and I have used up about that much well exactly that much so I think I'll be done this by my next update um, so if you can see as much as I used between July 15 and today I pretty much have that much left to go in the next month so I should be able to finish that as well as it tapers off in the bottom so there may be a touch less left than what was in the center like chubbier part there so I should be able to finish that off so that's the first item that I have um, the next item that I have is the Avon glimmer stick eyeliner and striking emerald and this one I haven't used at all. Um, this is where the line is. Where is it here? There. So that's where the line is and it's to the bottom of the cap. I haven't used this at all because I just finished my rich green one in my other project pan. So this will be the next one that I use. So there's no use so far on that one. Um, I also have a couple of pigments which I haven't really touched. Um, I'm lying I actually used one of them but I have the uh, makeup forever blue and violet diamond pig pigments I think these are the diamond pigments maybe they're the star powders um, but those are the co combined ones that I had just a little bit left of I haven't used those at all yet um, just because I had a couple of other things that I wanted to use through so I will start getting some progress on that in the next month um, and then I have the gold number one from Makeup Forever, which I have been using in my inner tear duct and the center of my lid, but um, you probably won't see too much progress. I pretty much have cleared off most of the lid and a little off the side. So that's pretty much it for that. I also have the Ben Nye Pigment in Silver Sparkle, and this one I haven't used at all. So again, like I have so much pigment on the go, so this next month I will try and go through those but I haven't used them this last month um the Lancome Noir liquid liner and this one I will actually be using um, a lot in the next couple months um, for those of you who don't know I just applied at Sephora um, about two weeks ago when I just had my first interview um, I have been called back to get a second interview and that will be next week um, along with my friend's wedding. So next week is like a write-off for me. Um, I hope I get the job. It is for seasonal um, only right now, but if they like me, they'll ask me to stay on um, as a part-time employee for permanent part-time. So um, I'll have to work my rear end off and hopefully I get to stay after the season. But even if I don't, I'm very happy that at least for now they're looking at me as part of their family hopefully so fingers crossed um, if that happens if I do get the job I want to start wearing stuff obviously um, when and if I work there I would want to wear stuff that they sell so this um, item I would be wearing quite a bit especially when I'm working there or if I get to work there I really I really hope I get to work there so I'm trying to talk positively um, anyway so this is the art liner from Lancome and I absolutely love this. It's wonderful. I've used this a couple of times, but um, I just finished my dark brown eyeliner recently. If you've seen my Project Pen video, you see that I just finished that one. So I will be using this one now along with a couple of other items that I'm trying to finish off. Um, so there's that one. And then I have the OCC Lip Tart in Strumpet. And I am, I'm wearing Ruby Woo on my lips right now with Cherry Lip Liner. Um, and then I'm also, I put a tiny bit of Strumpet over the center. I don't know how to, this is like such a gunky looking container, but I put a little bit of that like 
on the top you can see I wiped through that and then along the sides so that's where I'm starting to use the product and then um, basically I just put it a little bit in the center just to kind of use it up a little bit um, I am going to try to wear it on its own but I haven't yet just because I am trying to use Ruby Woo as well so I figured if I can combine all this stuff together why not right um, the Beautique Lip Liner, and this is in Sienna. I used this a couple of times, and I did sharpen it once, so it is a tiny bit smaller. Um, I'm not going to be marking this anywhere, so basically you're just going to see this thing getting smaller and smaller until hopefully I can bring it right down to the little nub area here. Um, but I have used this. I have sharpened it uh, once in the last month, so very little usage, but at least it's something. Um, and then I have, oh, I have uh, a couple of MTs. The first MT that I have is my Glimmer Stick Lip Pencil in Pink Bouquet. And it was up here when I started. So you can see it was like that tall and it is now gone completely. There's nothing left able to use. So that's done. One down. And I also have the Perfect Plum Lip Pencil. And I did start off there, but now I'm here. So there's really not that much left. And I can totally finish that up by the next update, no problem. So I just have to remember that it's there. <laughs> Otherwise I forget to use it. Um, and then I also have, what is it? I also finished off my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, I don't like this mascara at all. It's not that nice. I don't like the brush. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. My likes and dislikes are not the same as other people and I know this is like a huge favorite of a lot of people. But um, I don't mind how it applies on the lashes, but I don't like the fact that it crumbles and I don't like when I try to wash it off. Um, it hurts in my eyes. It feels like there's crumbs or something in my eyeballs and I do not like that at all. So I would never repurchase or purchase this at all. Um, I only have two samples, so I have this one and another one. The other one I'm not, I, I'm not gonna open it. It's never been opened. I may actually throw it in a giveaway soon. Um, if, I if I decide to do that, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with that yet because I don't even know if I'm gonna have much time to upload um, videos in the next little while. But I'll do my best. Um, but I'm, I'm just kind of all over the place in life right now. I'm very busy. It's really nice to actually be busy. So I'm so sorry I haven't had videos up. But um, back to the mascara. I'm not a huge fan of this. And again, I would not repurchase this or purchase it at all. Um, I would recommend it to somebody who's looking for really full long lashes. I would just recommend um, using an oil... Um, an oil-based eye makeup remover to remove this first and then wash your face after just because um, I, I just feel like it's very crumbly and very unsafe for the eye to be honest so um, it's not that it's the worst mascara um, it's just uncomfortable removing it it's nice to wear other than the fact that it uh, leaves crumbs or like fallout underneath the eye where right now I'm using the perversion mascara from Urban Decay love it. I have been wearing this for hours already and there are no fallouts. There's no crumblies or anything and my eyelashes are nice and long. Um, they're not crazy full because I only put on like one coat but um, they're really nice and natural and flirty and I like that where this is really clumpy and drying and um, it's thick. I mean it, it makes your eyelashes look thick and everything but it's just it doesn't make them look like nice long eyelashes it makes them look crumbly and thick and chunky so not a huge fan of this mascara I'm so sorry if you love it I'm not trying to offend anyone it just did not work for me personally um, and then I have the last two items I have my NYC color wheel mosaic face powder and the one that I'm going to use is the medium one be, I haven't touched it yet just because I haven't really been wearing too much face makeup other than today and I'm not wearing it today. Um, but it is this color here so I would be wearing that underneath my eyes because it's very light there. This product is very very light for my skin shade right now. Um, I'm quite a bit darker. I mean I don't actually when I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder I don't look that dark but I'm about four shades 
three or four shades darker than I normally am. I would use this on any like places that I put my concealer or my brightening powder for highlighting so I would use that because it's a little bit lighter than my current skin tone. So the last item that I have that I've actually used quite a bit of, um, you probably won't be able to tell and I think some of the bumps are starting to go down so that's kind of cool. Um, this is the NYC Sun and Bronze Bronzing Powder and it looks like that. And I've actually used some of that. I'm sure you can see some usage in there. Um, some of those bumps are starting to go down. It actually looks like it hasn't been touched really. So it's deceiving, but I really enjoy it. And it looks like this when you bronze it. So it's not like, it's pretty much the same shade as my skin tone right now. So... Yeah, I basically what I do is I run it across the front part of my face, my forehead and my chin and um, yeah, <laughs> I really enjoy it. I think it's a really nice powder. It's very soft and I don't mind the Petri container but I feel like this will break really easily if I'm not careful with it. Um, but that's the last item that I have for my update. Those are my 13 items that I have for you for my Finish 13 by Halloween. So I am finished two. Um, I will be finished for sure one for sure one item I'm gonna say maybe two maybe this one as well I might be finished about two items by the next update so um, I will try to plow through these so thank you so much for watching um if you guys are doing this finish 13 by um, Halloween let me know um, I really hope you guys are doing great with your success as well and your progress um, thank you so much for watching if you have a video please put that in the comment bar because I would love to see it and I will see you guys again next time bye